All right, so first it was Delta. Now the mu variant is raising concern. As the coronavirus evolves, new variants are sometimes given new names. But why Delta and why mu? Here's our why guy. It's all Greek to me. That's a term often used when we encounter a subject we don't fully understand. The World Health Organization is using the Greek alphabet to help us keep up with and perhaps better understand the ever-changing coronavirus. Since it first emerged, the coronavirus has mutated, creating many variants. You've heard a lot about Delta. Now let's explore why the latest variant to grab our attention is known as the Mu variant. Scientists know it as variant B.1.621, but the WHO knew that wouldn't mean a lot to us. So a group of experts decided to use the Greek alphabet to label certain coronavirus variants. Variant B.1.617.2 became Delta. The name change came after the World Health Organization determined it was a variant of concern, but it wasn't the first. Alpha, Beta, Gamma, and Delta are all variants of concern because of their ability to spread, with Delta being the most contagious. So how did we get from Delta, the fourth letter of the Greek alphabet, to Mu, the twelfth letter? Mu is a variant of interest because of its potential risk. Again, it's not the first. There are currently five variants of interest. Three others were dropped from the list. The Epsilon variant is now back to variant B.1.429. There are other variants that haven't earned a Greek letter, but the World Health Organization is watching them closely. And now we know. Jerry, thank you. We want you to visit 11alive.com for the most up-to-date data on COVID and vaccines in Georgia.